What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost and DC Comics has made it very clear that they are a failing company that at this point is just reliant on publicity stunts and now they have sacrificed the greatest superhero, the most iconic superhero of all time in Superman at the altar of identity politics and wokeness. When Tom Taylor came out and made this announcement, our hashtag Superman comes out. Happy hashtag coming out day at DC Comics. And you see Superman, John Kent Superman, who is the Superman in the current iteration of DC Comics right now, kissing a pink-haired freak, a pink-haired dude. This is what DC Comics has become. And there was obviously so many people on Twitter liking this and sharing this, saying it's incredible for representation. I never felt like I'd been represented before I saw one of these characters get their complete legacy destroyed by making them gay. And of course, yeah, they say bisexual. Do you really think after they do this, they're going to have them go back to just being with chicks, being attracted to chicks? I don't think so. Something tells me that won't be the case. But someone is speaking out. An actual Superman, Dean Kane, is blasting DC Comics for the virtue signal that this is. Dean Cain blasts DC Comics, making Superman attracted to dudes, calls it bandwagoning. There is nothing brave about this. There is nothing stunning. In fact, you did it. You timed it on a day where you knew coming out day would be trending. It was a literal virtue signal. You literally jumped on top of a fad of something that has been popularized in order to try to sell a few more comic books because that is where you're at. You are willing to destroy a character in order to sell a few more comic books to people that do not care about this and will not buy a single another one and likely won't even buy this one. Former Superman actor Dean Cain, who played Clark Kent in Lois and Clark, New Adventures of Superman, reacted to DC Comics' announcement that their new Superman is attracted to dudes. DC Comics announced their new issue, Clark Kent's son Jonathan will be attracted to men. I don't know if you can really describe this as, as a man, but at least a male. How about that? In a blog post, DC Comics claimed, Just like his father before him, John Kent has fallen for a reporter. That is such a fucking disgraceful sentence. After initially striking up a friendship with reporter Jay Nakamura, he and John become romantically involved on the pages of Superman, Son of Cal el number 5 from Tom Taylor and John Timms. Following a scene where Superman mentally and physically burns out from trying to save everyone he can, Jay is there to care for the Man of Steel. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing for DC. We talked about what Tom Taylor said. We also, don't forget the alternate cover, guys. The Pride cover right here. I don't know if you can make Superman look like more of a woman than this, but there you go. Well, Dean Cain said a few things about this. I want to get to Dean Cain's responses. And I saw actually my nerdy home tweet about this. Pretty sure Dean Cain liked Steph's tweet about it where she tagged him because he appeared on Fox and Friends to talk about this. Dean Cain stated, Look, it's hard for me to keep track of all the different Superman and all the different worlds and adventures he has in the comics. But from what I can gather, it's Lois and Clark's son, John. They said it's a bold and bold new direction. I say they're bandwagoning. Robin of Batman and Robin, as you mentioned, just came out as bi or gay recently. Honestly, who is really shocked about that one? I had some thoughts about that a long time ago. Obviously, that's a joke, but Tim Drake, yeah. Now, Tim Drake is attracted to dudes. Robin attracted to dudes. Superman's son, the new Superman, John Kent, attracted to dudes. I imagine they're going to butt fuck at some time. You just have to imagine DC Comics will go there. Kane continued. The new Captain America's gay. My daughter in Supergirl, why I played the father, she was gay. So I don't think it's bold or brave or some crazy new direction. If they'd done this 20 years ago, perhaps that would have been bold and brave. But brave would have been him fighting. This is, this is really it. This is a great point by Dean Cain. Doing this is not bold at all. Doing this hopping on the bandwagon of social justice and identity politics, trying to appeal to these groups that... You really don't care about. We see that over and over again. Uh, trying to appeal to these people and throwing your long, hardcore, long-term fans under the bus because they hate you. Yeah, there's nothing bold about that. But brave would have been him fighting for the rights of gay people in Iran, where they will throw you off a building for the offense of being gay. That's 100% right. What if? You know what would be bold and brave? 
if Superman was actually proud to be considered American, if he was proud of this country, if Superman was fighting for the rights of gay people in a country like Iran, but they would never do something like that. They would never criticize a Middle East country in that way. No, it's way easier to make everything about white America and criticize that, isn't it? Cis white America, let's criticize that. That is the enemy that we want in all of our comic books. Kane then questioned the stories DC Comics is telling. They are talking about him fighting real world problems like climate change, the deportation of refugees, and he'll be dating a hacktivist. Whatever a hacktivist is, I don't know. Why don't they have him fight the injustices that created the refugees whose deportation that he is protesting? That would be brave. I'd read that. Or fighting for the rights of women to attend school and have the ability to work and live and boys not be raped by men under the new warm and fuzzy Taliban. That would be brave. But we know that they would never criticize a quote-unquote minority group in that way. Like I said, they want everything to be about attacking the quote power structure of America. Cis white men. That's the point because the people that work there now, the activists that work at DC Comics, that work at Marvel, that work in all places in Hollywood and entertainment and the mainstream media, they hate you if you love America. They hate you if you represent traditional conservative values of America. Anything even close to that. Anything that doesn't fall into the far left radical feminist ideology, that type of thinking... They hate you, they despise you, and they will either change you or they will push you out of whatever they're currently in charge of. Um, I just read that. He added, there is real evil in this world today, real corruption and government overreach, plenty of things to fight against, human trafficking, real slavery. It would be brave to tackle those issues, shine a light on those issues. I'd like to see a character doing that. I'd read that comic. This one, I don't think I'll be reading I could just watch CNN or MSNBC to get this information. Well said by Dean Kane. Absolutely phenomenally put by Dean Kane. There are ways that you could do real world issues and make it compelling without, you know, just only singling out this far left radical ideology and pushing out your customer base. But no, instead, this is what we get. We get Superman, the most iconic hero ever emasculated and kissing a pink-haired freak. This is DC Comics. And uh, Dean Cain is 1,000% right in his analysis of this entire thing. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about not only DC Comics making him bi, making him like dudes, making Superman like Dick, not Grayson, by the way, but who knows about that in the future of DC, I suppose. And what do you think of Dean Kane putting them on blast? Let me know in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my PO box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.